What's up everybody? Superphil here from Superphil's Fortress of Solitude and I've got a, another video for you today. This time I have unlocked the allied race the High Mountain Torrent. And similar to my Nightborn video, assuming you watched that, I was going to show you a little bit about the uh, the race and so you can kind of see what they look like whatnot. I'm going to run through a character creation for you so you can see uh, you know the different customization options so we've got skin color which is you know, usually a, a staple for these kind of things for a different option here for the high mountain tour. A couple of different faces uh, for it looks like. Horn style, you notice that these Torin have um, kind of moose antlers. Well, they're not as prominent on the female characters as they are on the, the male high mountain Torin. But we'll look at those, don't worry. Uh, two different colors, <laughs> apparently, for the horn. One has some design, and the other does not. Here's uh, the different hairstyle options for the female Torin. And then the tattoo. Girl, have some respect for yourself. So we got... Uh, and they get different colors and designs, which is pretty nice. Uh, so that's the female. We'll go through the uh, the male configuration with the different skin t uh, tones. Four for them. Uh, we got five faces for the male torn. It's just one more in the customization. Now these guys get the the huge antlers. Which is, which is kind of neat. I thought they looked pretty cool. Um, but I'll come back to that because they are kind of frustrating also. And we'll see the facial hair for the tour in here. And then also the semi-nude with the uh, different tattoos. I do like how vibrant their tattoos are. Um, they're a lot more noticeable than most of the other uh, tattoos were. Um, I guess I'll show the uh, opening cinematic real quick. I've already gone through it with these guys, but we'll watch it real quick in case that's something that interests you. I didn't do that for the Nightborn, I don't think. But you live and you learn. High mountain stands. These words speak of more than earth and stone. They tell the history of our people, enduring hardship and conflict to unite against common foes. The time has come for you to venture beyond our sacred peaks. Walk the path that Hong took so very long ago and bring honor to the name High Mountain. So that's pretty cool. Um, obviously, if you've seen my last video, you know that the High Mountain Torin are uh, a group that you end up getting reputation with in Legion. And, uh, working, you end up having to get them exalted with them, and that's, that for me was a lot harder than getting the, uh, exalted with the Nightborn, it took a lot longer, because it was mostly world quests, and you do, like, five of those a day, <clears throat> for 75 rep, alright, so I got a little druid here, I didn't, I just randomized the names, so I wasn't really worried about that. And I got her outside in a level 100 zone. <laughs> um, but uh, that's so I could show you her travel form. 
because of course if you know druids the big thing is their they shape shape shift so travel form looks pretty cool right got a big fire and the uh keeps the the large antlers got the cat and the moonkin which pretty much looks like all the moonkin but they have horns so that's kind of cool um let's see if we can get a casting animation let's Kinda of looks the same. I don't, there's nothing out here that I want to attack because it will most definitely kill me. Even though I started at level, uh, we'll try it. We'll try that with a different character. Um, but so, uh, what I was gonna do? Uh, we will look at look at here. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted actually. Thank you. So this is the female druid in the currently highest available gear. So like I said, if you've seen my Nightborn video, I pretty much just want to kind of show off the character in their gear so you can see what they'll look like uh, to help you decide if you want to uh, level a high mountain torrent or not. Um, the, I guess, kind of nice thing about the females is their headpieces don't get quite as skewed as the male headpieces do. And uh, I'll try to remember to point that out whenever we're looking at uh, one of the male characters. All in all, they definitely look pretty neat. Of course, you have the large, the large bodies, so you get the large pieces of of armor. So you really get to show off, you know, what you've been working for. Some neat shoulders there. I've got some of this one. All right. It doesn't tell me where it came from. Why I have it? No way. Oh, that's from my old, old Wrath of the Lich King rating. Uh, but so yeah, what I was gonna say, um, you have to have a 110 character, a horde. You have to get exalted with the High Mountain Torn, and then you also you'll get once you get exalted with them there is a quest that you can pick up in Orgrimmar and that quest is a little small uh... oh no I don't think I'm gonna make it oh I'm definitely not gonna make it <laughs> Just wait the 20 seconds instead. <clears throat> so, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Uh, so, what I was going to say some of the, uh, the instances for, you know, 100 to 110 would have given rep for the High Mountain Torn. Um, and I. I don't do, I don't like doing pugs. I like having other people in the group that I know. So I didn't really do any of those. And so I was just having to do world quests to get my rep all the way up. Uh, so this is the room you start in, which y'all saw that earlier. She sends, she gives you a quest to go to Orgrimmar. Let's get the sets going for the monk. I've never really played much but so I started with uh, I had 9,000 uh, rep with the High Mountain Torrin uh, it was 9,000 into Revered so 
that would have been you know 12,000 that I needed to get to exalted and like I said it was pretty much five daily quests that were available to get that rep roughly at 75 experience a pop some of them would give 150 but that is still not a lot considering that was per day so for me it took a lot longer to uh, to get all that rep so that I could get exalted because I only had those you know five or six quests a day that I could do that was short for the monk. I keep forgetting that they weren't... Since they weren't there, they don't have ults here. Um, but yeah, so... Doing five or six quests a day, and then I'll have to wait until the next day in order to do more of the world quests. So that was kind of a bummer. It felt like it took forever. Um... I started not long after getting exalted with the Nightborn so that I could try to make this video for you and I finally unlocked it last night and uh, so yeah it, it took a long time in real time because at least with the with the Nightborn it was just a huge quest chain yeah it took like eight hours over the course of you know, maybe four days, but if I got on and wanted to play for, you know, if I if it was my day off, I could have sat down and played for hours, whereas for the High Mountain Torrin, it was pretty much drop in, do these five quests, and then wait. Now, you could do, um, they'll do you know, daily, not daily quests, but they do some quests where if you do four world quests, it does like this big thing, and then you do that, so there was, uh, that probably doesn't make any sense if you haven't been playing, but, so you'll do like four world quests, and then they'll give you one big quest to do, so you'll do that big quest, no, that's the Legion I'm thinking of. So, you'll do four quests, and then you get a reward for doing those four quests. Which was usually, you know, like 250 extra reputation. But, uh... <clears throat> so, what sucked was on the Legion, when the Legion was attacking, you don't get rep for High Mountain. But, I guess they make up for it because every now and then the Kirin Tor will be... the people you're doing your world quests for, and they will let you pick 1,500 rep for any one faction. So, obviously, since I was trying to unlock the High Mountain Tauren, that was who I've been picking. And I did that at least twice. <laughs> so there was 3,000 on two of those days. So without that, it would have been several days more. Well, that was the shaman, I don't know if I said that or not. Here's the hunter, which you've already seen the hunter, kind of. You'll notice that the default pet, starter pet, whatever, is a bird, which I think is kind of cool, because that used to be uh, a sought-after pet, or I think was trying to find a bird. But yeah, so it took a long time for me to unlock the High Mountain Tauren, and I, I, I like them, I like how big they are, I like the looks of them, but I am not actually going to level a High Mountain Tauren, I don't think, because they're kind of, right now they're, they're kind of frustrating to play, and I'll get in that with, uh, with the Warrior in a second. Obviously, they have the huge, huge shoulders, which I think look super awesome. They look really cool, and the Tauren have always towered above everybody, basically. And with the racks that they have, 
uh, just adds to that. And again, uh, more on that on my warrior. But, uh... So what I was saying, I'm trying to find a good example, is the female, the helms don't get near as skewed as they kind of do for some of the some of the male Tauren helmets. Uh, oh, that looks cool. I'm trying to find a good example. One that covers his whole head. Kind of looks like Mad Max. I like that they've added these uh, sets in for you, especially with transmogrification. My uh, Blood Elf Paladin looks pretty cool right now. Um, well, that's still not a great example. Um, what I noticed, because I was I was planning on playing a the hunter for the high mountain tauren but like this i don't know it just looks huge and stretched out to try to fit it, to try to fix his head and it ends up just looking kind of weird some of the helmets do we might get a better example on the warrior because they only have five playable races or excuse me five playable classes So, my warrior I parked over here in Orgrimmar. I probably didn't really think it out too well. But, uh, let's first... Oh, that's not what I want. Where are we? Appearance. No, yeah, sets. Okay. So again, this is the, uh, the most recent content. And I have a plate wearer, so some of this stuff is, I guess, unlocked through um, through my paladin, I guess, also, which is kind of weird. But look, I, I don't know. I just think the helmets look weird on the tour, and sometimes they have to stretch them out over that huge snout, and it just sometimes ends up looking weird which makes me sad because as I said before I, I love those huge shoulder pieces they look really nice well, it's got some overwatch kind of feel to it maybe I'm thinking no I'm thinking of overwatch Uh, hopefully, y'all are hearing the in-game mu the in-game music. Um, I'm positive I had it turned up on my last video, and I'm not sure why it didn't come through. That looks pretty cool. Um, because uh, obviously I haven't shown you the dance, which I'm guessing the dance will be the same as the Torin. But, I don't know that, to be fair. I could be wrong. Um, I've always liked their slash flex also. So we will find out. I've always liked the Black Temple gear. I was not prepared, it turned out. I really like that some of this stuff is, is... I like that it's bound to your account instead of... Uh, instead of having to have it. I like that it's bound to your account. Some people probably don't, but it's okay. 
Alright, so let's see. We'll do slash flex, which is the same as the torrent. <laughs> slash dance is the same as the torrent. That's okay. I mean, they are torrent after all. I do not have a target. Oops. Get as rough as you like. I've got a thick hide. <laughs> all right. Trust me. I have experience at exploring deep places. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, we'll see if those come through or not. Um, but so, yeah. Uh, once you get exalted, you learn this High Mountain Thunderhoof, which is, well, I'm pretty sure that's the, uh, the travel form for the Druid. So that's an interesting choice, one way or the other. Yeah, so, the Torn are just massive, and that's really frustrating if I want to go see my leatherworking trainer. And I cannot get through the door. Now, fortunately, not all of the doorways are like this, because I can go in here and I can be an engineer, so that's fun. But it is super frustrating that I can't go to the orphanage and see the kids. And uh, the first spot that I noticed it, I was trying to go up the steps to. Uh, can we get transmog? Nope, we can't go to the transmogrifier. Sorry, guys. No transmogrification for the high mountain torn. Uh, so that's that's just kind of a pain. Um, so with my Nightborn, I'm leveling a mage, and it sends you to Orgrimmar in order to, you know, start the quest. We all start at level 20. So, uh, you know, we both start at the same area, which of course, the levels are kind of irrelevant now because they have the Diablo method of scaling. So if I played the same areas that I just did on the mage, where I'm level 30 with the mage, I would be able to do those same exact areas with my Tauren at level 20. Uh, but so, I did not want to do my quest in the same exact zone that I just did the quests for. So I decided I would go to Silver Pine Forest and the Terrestrial Falls. And I was coming up here to get on the Zeppelin. And I'm stuck. Just, uh, nope. No, no Torrin on the, uh, on the Zep. So that's kind of annoying that I can't through many doors and I've only tried that in a handful of spots so oh, that goes to the warrior tundra I'm on the wrong zeppelin that's okay though because uh, I'm not going anywhere so yeah so the tauren look pretty cool I like their uh, you know moose racks or whatever um, yeah I named my guy affectionately rackhead but it was kind of funny but I, I don't think I'm going to play him, which kind of makes me sad. I don't know. It, it depends on, uh, I might try it out some and see how frustrated I get having to dismount so often. I haven't really decided yet, but it is super annoying. But, uh realized I didn't show the stuff for the something for the ladies forgot to do the slash flex and slash dance um, again I didn't really show any of the quote unquote starting zone because this is a level 110 area so flex okay Let's see that dance I haven't played a female Torn in a while, I don't know what their dances were. 
It's not the size of the antlers. It's the motion of the totem. <laughs> Are you staring at my rack? Oh, yeah, low-hanging fruit right there. So, but that is the High Mountain Torrent. They are kind of cool. Um, so that's the same kind of healing spell. I need to target something first. Oh, I don't have a bad guy. Um. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna end the video here. So yeah, there's the high mountain horn. They are pretty cool, but I don't know that I'm gonna invest the time into it if I'm gonna have to jump off and on my mount every 30 seconds as I'm trying to run around. Uh, we'll just have to see. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But hopefully this video helps you out. Maybe you, you know, help you make a decision, whatever. Uh, so yeah. I thought this is funny. This is my randomized name. Hello, Gofna. I'm sorry. I thought I like it. But uh, it was just a randomized name. So I'm going to delete all these guys. So... Thanks for watching. This has been Superfill from Superfill's Fortress of Solitude.